What is the actual UX design process behind redesigning a website? Let's just say you're a freelancer or a UX designer who wants to redesign an existing website from your client or your stakeholder. If you're redesigning an existing product or a website, always start with stakeholders questionnaire and do not start by redesigning the entire thing by making it beautiful or adding a couple of micro interaction or changing the entire iconography to something that is trending right now. Well, understanding what is the actual issue that the existing product is facing is always going to be your first step. So that is why you can start with asking stakeholders some relevant questionnaire. For example, what is that major issue that this website or the product is facing right now that you want to redesign it? For example, the website might have some problem statements such as the conversion ratio is very low, the bounce rate is very high, the average order value and the product is very low, or people are not spending a lot of time which is the average time spent by the users on the product this can be couple of issues now go forward and try to understand the goals of redesigning the entire product if you understand the current state of the existing product and you know the goal that you want to achieve you would be able to actually track the process and measure it in some way or the other because if you don't have a success metric to measure the success of a new product which is actually redesigned from the previous product was having xyz issue you will never be able to say that this product is successful or maybe then it will require another the redesign in the near future so that is why always ask about what are the major issue in this product and also ask the goal that you want to achieve in the near future so once you actually understand the problem that the product is facing and once you know the goal that you want to reach make sure that you solve the problem statement accordingly just like i said beautification is not always the solution try to understand the core problem statement that the company client or the product is facing and only then start solving the problem statement which is understanding the problem statement first and then going forward with the solutioning